up for Roughnecks. This is Pwn Source Rex, and today we are going to be assembling the Orc team. So right here I have these six, the first six done, which basically the way it works is, is you get two of the same exact sprue, so you get two of each Orc. You have three linemen, a blitzer, a blocker, and a thrower. So, what you're going to need to do this is plastic glue, an exacto knife, and some side cutters. Hobby side cutters, preferably. These are Army Painter ones, they work really good. So, this is the black orc blocker. This is the blitzer. The three linemen, there's line one, two, and three and the thrower so you you get 12 units inside the box and uh, like I said you get two of each one so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to read the instructions on how to assemble your team which is right here and then it shows you instructions as well it says which pieces to cut out so here this one right here says one two and three and it will build you lineman one so we will take the sprue and we will find one two and three here's one two and three so what you do is you take these side cutters and you put them against the flat side not the beveled side the flat side against the piece you want to cut so boom boom you do not want to break the sprues you will damage the piece you want to cut. Um, put the flat side against and cut as close as you can to the piece. So there's one. Make sure to be careful. Safety first. Do not cut yourself, or pinch your finger, or anything like that. There you go. The nice thing about the what I'm finding with the Blood Bowl. Uh, figures is they snap together relatively easy. They're not complicated like the 40k. Um, there's only one way to put them together. There is no customization. You just snap them together and they're done. Which is which is nice in one way because it's easy to assemble um, and you don't have a lot to worry about. So there, that's everything I need to put the piece together. Um, so now we just got to clean the edges. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this one. We're going to glue this one together, and then I will time lapse the rest of them. And then we will discuss at the end. Right now is a great time to subscribe to the channel and uh, support the channel that way. That is a great way to support the channel. You can also do Patreon. Patreon also assists the channel and the merch store. Um... We are currently growing. It is really good, um, and every subscri subscription helps. It's free. doesn't hurt you, so why not? So anyway, let's clean these edges. What you do, I use a couple methods that, that look sketchy, so don't follow my way of doing this. I uh, have been using the X-Acto knife a long time. I'm, I have no fear with the X-Acto knife. Watch me slash myself up like Freddy Cougar here. But unless you uh, have experience with an X-Acto knife, you need to be very, very careful. They are very, very sharp. Um, and the nice thing about these Blood Bowl is I'm also finding that a lot of them don't have a lot of mold lines. Um, a lot of them have the mold lines covered up. Um, or they're right on the edge, edges, which is really nice. It's completely unlike 40K. I mean, every model in 40K is almost covered, covered with mold lines. You gotta spend all day shaving one arm in a 40K. Um, it's quite annoying. Uh, this is actually really smooth sailing, really easy to do. Um, you wanna be careful when you're, when you're cutting off these sprue marks like like along this edge is a sprue mark be careful you don't indent too much because then you'll make a big crack and you've got then you'll have to use green stuff to get around it um, 
slightly shade the the mold lines that are available. You don't want to you don't want to like fully make a crevice when doing it, because then that crevice looks funny when you paint it. Um, there we go. So here we go. I'm gonna throw this guy in here to get started, and then we're gonna glue him up. So what I do is I always put the character together before I glue because you never know if you missed something um, like a sprue, uh, something with a sprue or anything like that. Um, so you want to just make sure that it goes together good. So there he is. Now, some people may decide that they don't want to glue it. And, I mean, he looks good, right? You can play pretty rough with him. It's not going to fall apart. But he can easily be pulled apart. Um, so, because of that, I have decided to glue mine. You don't have to glue them, but if they come apart and they get mixed up um, after the fact, you may have an issue um, with that. <clears throat> so there we go. There's the leg. Do to do. You want to squeeze the part together, preferably not on a spike because that'll hurt your fingers. Da -da 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 -da. Then you want to. Glue up the other one, and then get that on there as well. Boom, and then just hold the piece together. Thirty seconds should do it. Do to do, do 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 do, and that is our. That's a lineman. So that's gonna be our second lineman number one completed. All right, guys. Like I said, I'm going to time lapse this so that you can. See them all quickly built.
that is how this is done all these are completed now they all look good the only thing I'm concerned with is the lineman one with this crack right here I may end up green stuffing that other than that they all look nice I did a really quick job you saw that um, on the mold lines but I don't see anything that really sticks out guys they really right here I kind of got a fingerprint because I overdid the glue um, which you just scrape real quick and it will go away. Might want to wait until it completely um, dries, the glue does. That way you're not scraping away chunks. But yeah, that's it. Now it looks fine. Um, so the next step is to paint these bad boys. They are complete. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to take a second to subscribe and like the video. Check me out on Discord or Twitter. If you want to get a hold of me the quickest, leave a comment in the comments below, and I will get back to you. If I don't see you in the comments below, I'll see you in the next video.